Hey guys, so I'm here with my blue-eyed leucistic ball python, Celine. Now, she is uh, a type of snake that a lot of people get confused about because they think she's albino because she's all white, but leucistic basically means that she doesn't have any pigment in her skin. So this is just why she gets uh, a nice white color. If she was albino, she would have red eyes, but she's obviously got blue eyes because she's a blue-eyed leucistic. Um, so that's where they get the name from, and these snakes can be produced from a whole bunch of different combinations of genes. Um, it's kind of like a complex, but the actual genetics behind it are pretty interesting. Um, a couple days ago, I fed her the biggest rat she's ever had, the biggest meal, um, and I filmed some of it of her finishing it off, and I thought it was really interesting, and it gives us a good kind of insight into how snakes are actually eating their food and the kind of mechanisms behind it. So if you want to stick around and watch that, um, please be warned that obviously there is a dead rat in this video. It was frozen and thawed out to feed her. Um, I never feed any of my snakes live because um, that has a whole host of problems that can arise with it on top of just being kind of not great to do in captivity if you can avoid it. Um, so just keep that in mind, but it is really interesting to watch um, if you don't mind that kind of content. Um, but for those of you who are a bit squeamish, I do encourage you to try and, and watch it because I think it's cool, um, but if it's a little too much for you, I understand. But please keep that in mind, but uh, yeah, enjoy the footage. So you can see she's actually walking her teeth along the prey item. She sinks her left side teeth in and then walks her right jaw a little bit forward, then sinks those teeth in and she keeps doing that and that's how she actually is able to engulf the entire prey item. So here you can see the muscles in her esophagus doing peristalsis, which is basically them flexing and pushing the food down in a kind of conveyor belt system. So that's why this motion is the rhythmic kind of motion, is her actually using her throat to push the food down 